Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm JC, this is On To and Go. Here, we do motorcycle related stuff, specifically on the 2019 Electric Glide Standard here. Today, we have a real simple install. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a tasty beverage, then we'll get this knocked out. Stick around. <laughs> So like I said, we're going to be installing the Kiriakin brake and clutch levers here. Again, it's going to be model 1819, trigger levers for 17 and up, touring, gloss black, obviously fits the electric glide, road glide, road king, and street glides. Let's get these opened up and see what we got. Looks like we've got some instructions. Got the two levers and that's about it. So it looks like this is going to be the brake side. This is going to be the clutch side. Mind you, this is a 2019, so it is a hydraulic clutch, no clutch cables. The clutch side is gonna be pretty simple to install. It's just you pop one out and pop the other one in. This one's a little bit more in depth. You gotta actually take the switch pack off. We'll go ahead and get the bike set up and we'll get to work. I'm gonna try to give you a quick explanation without shaking the camera too much. If you can see there, dead center of the screen, you see a little snap ring. That snap ring comes off and it holds this retaining pin. Then once you get that retaining pin loosened up, come on this side, remove your T27s on the front and back of the switch pack. So let me go ahead and get this put on the tripod and get this knocked out. All right, I don't know if you noticed, but the bike is up on a, on a jack. It's not necessary. You don't need a jack or a lift or anything to do this. I just did it so the bike is upright uh, and not leaning. But again, you don't need it. So I'm gonna get in here and get this snap ring. As I try not to destroy my camera. One snap ring. Now you're going to reuse that, so again with the hair ties. We're going to re reuse that snap ring, so don't lose it. You're also going to re reuse this retaining pin. So before I pull that pin out, I'm just going to go ahead and get these uh, Torx nuts off. Or Torx bolts, rather. I'm mistaken, this must be a T25. So I misspoke earlier. These screws on the back are T25s. And the ones in the front are T27s. Let's if you caught my uh, Legend Revo A install video from last week, I said I wasn't a mechanic and just proved that again. So these back screws are captured, meaning that they're not going to come all the way out once you back them out. Take the front cover off and then back out the T27s from the front. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a towel on the tank because I don't want to take a chance on scratching that. Give me one second. Okay, so here's a pro tip. 
if you don't have any of those fancy tank covers and fender covers that uh, you see at all the mechanic shops, the one way to keep everything from getting scratched is to go up to the linen closet, get your wife's best towels, because they're the softest, and uh, cover the tank. So let's continue. So now I got the uh, switch pack housing off. I'm going to pop that retaining pin. And out she comes. Set that aside. We're going to reuse that retaining pin. Make sure you get all that old grease off of there. Bring you closer right there. If you can see the, uh, the little slit at the top, that's where that um, retaining clip slides into when you put it back in there. So again, we got the brake lever here. What you want to do is you want to add a little bit of grease to the two uh, fittings here. You don't have to overdo it. Just get a little bit of uh, this red, red grease. Put some in a little cup and a little bit inside the uh, top of the fitting there. Just wipe off the excess. And we're ready to get this thing back in. So you want to make sure the little cup right here fits onto this little push pin here because that's what actually actuates your, your brake master cylinder and then the front just slides right in. You align your holes. Get that retaining pin back in there. Make sure it's aligned. And there you go. All right. So you get your little retaining clip here. You don't want to overextend it because, like I said, you're reusing this, so you don't want to stretch it too much. Get yourself a good angle there. Make sure you get it in that little slot that I showed you earlier. It should go under nice and easy. If you hear that click, it's seated so your little uh, pin there won't come out. All right, got grease on my fingers. Everything's getting slimy. So this is also a uh, fly-by-wire throttle, so there's no throttle cable there, but there is uh, a little gear in there that's got to engage, so make sure you're in there and you're encapsulated within the housing here. Just snug them up, don't, don't tighten them too much. You want some, some adjustability there because you want to make sure you let your mirror is going to be where you had it. There's a little actuator here that you got to make sure you get behind try and get this without getting in the way of the camera here just get these started so it's not going to fall off on you Snug them up. Got 
Got good contact there. It's actually it is activating the brake, so the rest of this grease. I got a little too much grease on the bottom end of this little pin here. Just get these a little bit snug. So I got them. Once I get the bike down flat again, I will have to adjust where where my mirrors go. So I'm not going to tighten these all the way down, but just to make sure they don't fall down. those for now. All right, let's switch over to the uh, clutch side. Be right back. All right, so this side is much easier. It's just that snap ring, that pin, and that's it. You don't have to mess with the housing on this one. So we're going to go in with the uh, snap ring pliers. Got some good light on this one. Snap rings out, save that once again, pop this little pin, we're going to reuse that, pops right up. Once again, we're going to get that old grease off of there, so just like the other one, get a little bit of grease in the little cup right there, not too much, and you just want a little bit here where the pin goes and it'll it'll pull it down so like I said you don't want to overdo it this cup is going to fit in a little actuator that goes in there make sure it fits and this little wing is going to go right across the front and then you can line up your hole pin goes in Make sure it's seated. Get your spring clip lined up. Again, don't stretch it out too much. Get it on there. Make sure it's seated, push up. Make sure it's locked. Well, that was a real simple install. About maybe 20 minutes to get that knocked out. Brake lever had a little bit more to do with uh, taking the uh, switch pack off. Clutch side is really simple. Pop the pin, pop the new one, the new lever in, put the pin in uh, retaining clip back in, and uh, you're all set. Uh, once again, I'll put a link down below to those exact levers if you're interested. Hey, if this is your first time here, I hope you enjoyed uh, the video. Here we do motorcycle stuff. We do rides. Lately, we do a couple installs here and there. Next week's video is going to be another install. It's going to be a fairly easy one. Uh, it's been done before. I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is just yet. Hoping that you'll come back to check it out. If this is your first time here, be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you want to see. As always, ride safe. And when you feel that need, get out onto and go. See ya.